Robert describes an incident where a wonderful author struggled with the sales of a book and how, even after a recommendation from Robert to practice some sales and advertisement, she took it as an offense and how she thought that she doing sales would be an insult. Here, Robert ends his conversation by saying, it's the best selling that gets recognition, not best written. The world is filled with talented people, but not all talented ones become rich. Robert's rich dad explained that too many people are focused on specialization, and more specialized you become, the more you are trapped and dependent on that speciality. Talented people struggle financially because of not what they know, but because of what they don't. They have invested so much time and resources in perfecting their one skill that they fall flat on selling and marketing it. They work hard enough to not get fired and their owners pay them enough so that they won't quit. Robert mentions how his educated dad worked harder and harder and specialized his skill, which eventually made him trapped. Though his salary increased but his choices to change the course of life diminished. On the other hand, his rich dad mastered sales, marketing, negotiation, communication, finance, psychology, etc. which made him expand his choices and knowledge and eventually enabled him to work in a broad area and earn a ton of money. Robert describes how he never wanted to specialize in one department, rather how he wanted to learn all aspects of business system. He joined Marine Corp to learn how to lead troops. Later, in order to learn leadership, he joins as a military commission in Vietnam. To learn sales training and to overcome the fear of rejection in sales, he joined the company Xerox. Like this, he involved in many such things in order to learn some important real-life skills. Rich Dad wanted Robert and Mike to seek and work for what they will learn more than what they will earn. He wanted them to look down at what skills they want to acquire before choosing a profession. In short, he wanted them to know something about almost everything. Robert shares how people treat these suggestions and how often he gets to hear statements like, Oh, that is too much hazel. I can't change now. I am scared. Or I want to do things that I'm interested in. These are just some common excuses and an easy way out to get out of the conversation. And all it can be said is, unless people are used to changing, it's hard to change.